Hey, good afternoon. We have uh, the full jobs week breakdown here today. We're going to talk a little bit about inflation updates, which big surprise was another big number. Uh, plus, our question of the week this week is all about real estate investing, especially during these inflationary times. My name is Brandon Steele. I'm a financial advisor with Mainsail Financial Group just here in Bellevue. And our goal every Thursday at three is to bring to you the market news, trends, updates, all the things that we're watching for the week, and hopefully weed out a little bit of the noise um, that you know we kind of get bombarded with. So we're two weeks into the new year here. Hopefully everybody's still keeping up with their resolutions. Um, and already we have a short week coming up next week in the markets. We've got Monday, the markets will be closed. So just a heads up uh, for those paying close attention to market holidays here. All right, well, let's get right into the jobs week. So we started, we tipped the cards a little bit last week with some of the, um, excuse me, some of the ADP employment numbers. But of course, every Friday is when non-farm payrolls come out. And that's really what we want to spend some time on today. Non-farm payrolls came out very, very, very disappointing. Uh, we had only 199,000 jobs added for the month of uh, December, excuse me, <laughs> trying to catch up here, uh, versus 422,000 expected. So again, we we're only about half of what we had, uh, the market had kind of expected on the jobs front. Very, very disappointing. However, the unemployment rate came out at 3.9%, which was a little bit better than expected. So to some degree, the market seemed to kind of shrug this off a bit. Um, one of the challenges that I will propose to you is that you are probably very familiar, but the unemployment rate, the way that that number is, is uh, set up or is calculated is not very accurate, maybe is a good way to put it, right? There are a lot of reasons that somebody may be out of work, but not considered unemployed. So that is really important that this number is not the most accurate, but we should be adding a lot of jobs and really we're not. So I, I think that number on Friday was a little bit more concerning than maybe the markets seem to think. Uh, you know, here we are in 2022, beginning of the year, a lot of people hopefully looking to get back to work. So you know, we'll see what January brings, but I mean, we, we have a lot of people that are not working right now, a lot of job openings, maybe more job openings than people looking. Um, so there, there's definitely some, some labor force issues that we need to address. So hopefully that picks up in January. We will see maybe 2022 is the year where the labor market really picks up, hopefully, right? All right, uh, on top of all the jobs data, we also had inflation come out here on Wednesday. So this is a great session here this Thursday. Uh, just yesterday on Wednesday, consumer price index and core CPI numbers came out. As you heard me tease at the beginning, it was another huge number. Uh, guess what? Inflation's here. <laughs> so uh, it was 5% or sorry, 0.5% month over month and 7% year over year. Yet again, this number beat expectations. I'm not sure why, to be honest with you. Um, you guys know we, we've been talking about inflation for a long time. My perspective is it is going to be here for a while. Now, some of the supply chain issues may work themselves through. Not so much, obviously, with some of the Omicron variant that may slow the um, reopening to some degree. But there's still a lot more money in the economy. It's not necessarily that, um, that, that money was spent. It's that that was new money right? So it is going to take a long time for this inflation to work its way through. And I think we should get to a point soon, hopefully, where we stop being surprised that inflation is, is high. Uh, I expect that to continue for a little ways. And as you know, is part of um, some things that we're watching as we move forward, you know, maybe later this year or into 2023. So keep an eye on inflation. It is here. I'm sure you're feeling it. It's not going anywhere for a while. So, uh, you know, don't be surprised if these numbers keep uh, surprising. <laughs> All right. So coming up next week, we've got retail sales coming out on Friday, tomorrow. Uh, again, markets are closed on Monday. So just as a heads up, there will be a market holiday on Monday. No trading going on that day, but we'll be right back next Thursday. We'll be talking about retail sales and some of the, the data that has come out for the week um, prior. All right. Question of the week is really relevant right now. We're talking about inflation running at, you know, these huge numbers. Bear with me a little bit, don't quote me on this, but I think I saw something like the highest since the 70s or something like that, uh, 70s or 80s anyways. So these numbers are really getting 
high. They're, they're a little out of hand, right? And so one of the questions comes up about real estate investing, and that's what we're going to spend some time talking about today. The reason real estate investing is such a hot topic right now and is in any period of inflation is because it's a real asset, right? It is a hard asset. Now, that could be real estate. It could be physical commodities. Like there's all different flavors of a hard asset. Real estate obviously typically is the most popular that we hear about. Um, but know that, you know, maybe as I'm talking about real estate, that could factor into other asset categories as well, as long as it fits into that hard asset uh, shell, if that makes sense. But real estate can be a great investment during a period of inflation. And, and here's why. Um, because it is a hard asset, there's not, essentially, when, do, when, when things get more expensive, any of those hard assets, any of those commodities or goods start to go higher, right? I mean, we can see that with oil prices. We can see that with, uh, although lumber has tapered off a little bit, we saw it a, a little ways back, a ridiculous increase in lumber prices. Uh, gold is not acting quite that way right now for some other reasons, but you get the idea. Any hard asset generally is going to increase as prices increase uh, because it is a physical, physical asset, right? Inflation goes up, prices go up, so do hard assets. Typically, that's not, it's not that simple, but you get the idea. So I think that's a reason that a lot of people are looking at real estate right now. Um, another reason is also, as you might imagine, real estate provides good leverage opportunities. Now, the concern obviously is to be cautious of getting over leveraged, but interest rates are extremely low right now. So we have an inflationary period. Low interest rates can be a great opportunity, obviously. Um, you know, the challenge with real estate investing and really any hard asset is that if something comes up, you can't just kind of like chip a piece off the roof and, and use that to pay your medical bills, right? So liquidity is a bit of a challenge with these type of assets. That said, um, you know, as long as you don't have too much, obviously you can diversify by having some liquid portfolio assets as well. Um, you know, so that's the biggest con consideration there, but also you can invest in real estate through securities as well. You don't just have to buy a physical asset. Because a lot of times with real estate investing, it may take a lot, even if the, the, um, the leverage helps you, it may still take a big chunk to get any sort of actual physical property. Whereas if you look at maybe some form of stock or um, fund or ETF or whatever it might be, you could start with a very, very low amount and still have the exposure to real estate, which hopefully may go up as inflation continues. So there's all kinds of ways to do, to handle real estate investing. It doesn't just have to be buying a physical asset, especially if, you know, shelling out all that money is a bit of a challenge or leverage is a bit of a challenge. So, um, so you know, there's all kinds of ways to do it. Obviously you could pool as well. Like there's plenty of ways to find the ability to invest in real estate, but the reason it is becoming so hot is because of all this inflation that we keep talking about over and over and over again. So hopefully that helps. Um, we are looking forward to spending some time next week, talk a little bit about sales and how that's kind of panning out here to start January. So we will see you next Thursday at 3 p.m. I hope you have a great day and, um, and a, a nice holiday coming up on Monday.